hey, hi, hello, insert an obligatory acknowledgement that it's been a really long time since I have done a recorded video that's not a live stream. That's the only thing I do here really is nonfiction book club live streams, but here I am with a vlog. Two weeks ago, BookNet Fest returned and I was feeling kind of sad and upset about do many things. And so I decided that it might be fun to edit the vlog that I tried to record at BookNet Fest. The vlog is in fact a hot mess. This is currently the only half decent audio you can expect from this video. I apologize in advance for that. But the main reason that I'm recording this long preamble intro situation is that I <laughs> feel like I got so caught up in the, we did this and then we did this and then I did that, which is all well and good and great. Like I had fun doing all of those things. Um, but I feel like I lost sight of what I actually enjoy about this event. Like I recorded all of the this task-oriented footage, but I didn't actually capture any of what I think makes this event magical and great. I just wanted to say up top that everybody who attended this event was incredible, and I am so grateful for all of the really cool and wonderful people that I got to meet, who hopefully I'll get to hang out with at future BookNet Fests, or, you know, just in general, wherever our paths may cross. I moderated two panels, and I feel like those went pretty well. All of the panelists were so thoughtful, and I feel like that's the main word that I would use to describe everybody who attended this event. The attendees of BookNet Fest are just so thoughtful and kind and enthusiastic. And that is the main reason that I am so looking forward to attending BookNet Fest 2024, whenever slash wherever it is. I'm just so grateful that I got to spend the weekend with all of these incredibly wonderful, kind souls. And I cannot believe that I did not say that even once in the vlog, uh, but here I am saying it now. And with that, I guess whatever this vlog is can commence. We are in the car. We did it, it's very full back there, <laughs> but we're in the car, we have all of our stuff, hopefully. <laughs> we have the stuff that we, we're bringing. We have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. And hopefully that it is all the stuff that we want to have. <laughs> if the situation is bad in here, the sky is throwing rocks at us. It's not great. We're in Disney Springs. I meant to film us leaving the hotel and going to get the food, but we were so hungry. We ate so fast. We ate so, it was like truly, truly wild how quickly we ate that food. We did not speak like the food no. appeared. There was no conversation. <laughs> Just us inhaling our food. I have my churro. Now we're gonna go back to the car. The air is soup. Bye. I realized that since I recorded all of that Wednesday stuff, um, I, this video otherwise was going to cut from going to dinner last night to going to dinner tonight. So this is just to say uh, that my Thursday was spent sitting in this hotel room working. Thursdays are actually kind of a highlight of my week because it's uh, pitch meetings for SciShow. I can sort of see the sunshine out there, which is great because um, it's also like 90 fucking degrees outside in the air is soup. So uh, th that's, that's about enough of the Florida sunshine for me. <laughs> We're going to dinner! Wow! Oh, wow. I don't know who's in this. I got pretty drunk at the hotel. <laughs> it is officially BookNet Fest day one, which has also been a work day for me, so I already missed the keynote. Uh, panels started seven minutes ago, and I have not done registration yet. I have a half day at work, so Technically my work day ended 37 minutes ago, but um, there's a bunch of stuff that I have to be sort of like loosely on call for. <laughs> my little tote bag packed. I got a sweatshirt, I got my masks. Um, I have all the, all the things. So now I'm ready to go down and get registered and finally start being at BookNet Fest. <laughs> day one fit check. My name is Tara Gold and we're gonna go down the road. I'm just gonna tell you their name, um, their pronoun, what their role is in the book community and we'll go on. Booknet Fest day one is uh, basically done and I am crushing this whole vlogging thing. The panels today were so good. They were so great. I had to come back upstairs for a work thing in the middle of the day. So that was, uh, you know, whatever is what it is. But the panels that I went to were all really, really good. The queer lit panel at the end of the day was really, really fantastic and I loved it. Uh, and then a bunch of us got some food on DoorDash. We talked about walking over to Disney Springs, but decided against it because it's probably gonna rain. I might go see other people at some point, but also I might just stay it is only eight o'clock. Also, here's my bed, and I love bed. I am running late. My hair is still wet, um, but this is 
this is it. This is day two. I did not wind up leaving my bed last night. Once I got in, that was the end. I did a panel. We're, we did it. It's done. I forgot to document that that happened. But look, it's this panel. Okay, thanks, bye. We're doing a panel. It's happening. After panels ended, I was feeling a little overstimulated, so I came back to my room and I chilled for like an hour. Uh, and now, I am all dressed for Booknet Fest prom. I should use the mirror in front of me. That's the move. Woo, there it is. Uh, I also have these cute boots. Hit check. Fully failing at documenting all the most fun bits, but um, I prom has begun. I went and I pre-gamed with some friends. I didn't document any of that because <laughs> I'm so good at this. Um, but also it's like really fucking hot in that room and the, the turtleneck was a choice. It's very lightweight, like it's thin. It's really thin. So I thought this was gonna work, um, but it's not. So I came back to my room to change. I did it. I am ready to go back to prom. Fit check, take two. And I have food snacks. <laughs> I tried to go to the bathroom and um, the bathroom was like under construction or whatever. So I went up to my room to go to the bathroom and um, when I did, <laughs> I made the shoe chain. We did it. We did it. We did it. You survived. Yeah. I survived the chicken. I'm a Hi, look at that We did it. I got my shirt on. I have a shirt. I got it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>